you might know that she can't be Reaction Tech Chase's Falcon. This remains true. Sort of. See, only Tech roll in and Tech in place can't be distinguished in time to Reaction Tech Chase. Tech away can, though. Which means that you're forced to guess between Tech roll in or in place in order to cover it on Reaction. This makes it a 50-50, if you will, which is a strict optimization over the current 33% stuff, guessing roll in, in place, or away. Now why would they ever choose the tech away, you might ask? Because you can run past side B to cover both tech roll in and in place and miss tech all at once. And that really blows her up. So how to set this up and how best to do it? First, you want to dash wave dash to where she lands. Try to get as close to where she'd be if she teched in place as you can. Um, then if you want to aerial roll, you need to start a dash by frame 19 of her tech reanimation for tech away and 20 for tech in. The main flaw of this style of coverage is that you only get a grab if you choose to do the 50-50, assuming tech in place. That's why I currently am always committing to either stomp or kneeing both tech rolls, or tech in place miss tech. Unlike before, I recommend knee over stomp for reacting to tech rolls, as it lets you react a little slower than previously thought. It's actually not too hard once you get the timing down. Stomp is still possible in reaction, I was already doing it, um, but it's actually pretty tough if they're choosing to shield on wake up every time, and they can buffer that. Uh, although it will beat everything else really easily. Um, so for reading tech in place miss tech, I'm sticking to stomp early low percents, which is mainly where this is relevant. Uh, quick, quick addendum, I think dash stomp on tech rolling is pretty good too. It's one frame harder, but you don't have to be as worried about getting an instant aerial, so it's not too bad. Uh, I think it's pretty realistic too. So I think either stomp or neo tech rolling is pretty good.